to do our natural resources and sit with the Department of Land and Natural Resources. They were chosen for generational knowledge through their practices in descendant lines. The county, however, does not have an advisory committee to help manage our resources rightfully. What is your take and how would you implement an Ahamoku Council in the county status? You know, um, when I when I think about that, I I really I really don't know how we could do it and why would we start because um, I we have the burial council in um, and. There's a lot of I want to say we, I want to say redundancy, and how would we try to um, make it to where? Of course, there's a state and the county, but I would really have to look into it. I I wouldn't be able to give you an answer right now. Sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> But you're right. First of all, we have to involve the kupunas. Who else knows better than our kupunas? Like Auntie Faye there. Who else knows better than our kupunas? Those are the ones that we need to get in touch with. They're the ones that we need advice from to tell us what we should do, how we want it done, and where we want it done. So, gratefully, we do still have kupunas, and we need to get them in with us. Uh, one of the first things I did when I just before I decided to run was to call up Harry Kim and Brenda Ford. I thought if I could pass muster with those two, uh, that'd be pretty good. And Harry Kim now comes to my office uh, once a week, once every two weeks, and we talk story. And one of the things he said around the Hawaiian issue, because I was talking about sovereignty after I attended a, a Uncle Robert's Sustainability Festival for the three days last weekend. I said, well, how do you do this? And he said, well, this is what I did. I invited every Hawaiian elder to come into my office and let me know what they wanted. I didn't promise them anything because there's certain constitutional laws and state constitutional laws, but that's what I would do. I'd invite people who wanted to come in because I do not know that many Hawaiian people, I'll admit it. Um, I've tried to, and uh, hopefully I will more. Um, I think what Uncle Robert is doing out there is fantastic. The aloha he shared, all the people who participated. It was just a fantastic event, uh, spaceships and all. It was just uh, fantastic. Uh, I learned so much. It was, it was so cool to see how many of my Puna friends, who are also in here right now, uh, have done so much for the Aina. And you'd be surprised, I think a lot of us may be, um, I hate to say it, but we might be incarnated Hawaiians. <laughs> Actually, I'd love to say that.